to wait a minute. You'll see. tell you this. I'm going to miss all of you. You've all been wonderful. Good luck. He's a clown, and I will not have him staying in my house. Let me put it this way. Your children and I are very concerned. Bo is in trouble. Therefore, he is going to stay here until he gets back on his feet. My wife, she sees the miracle worker, and all of a sudden she's going to save someone. Staying here. I'll not have a leech staying in my house. Just because he doesn't work in a nice, clean bank doesn't mean he's a leech. Oh, really? And he's still a leech. Look, he is my brother. He is in trouble. He is staying here, and that's fine. And I guess that... Hello, big shot. 
Come on in. I'll fix you a drink. All right, kids. It's time for homework. On your way, please. Oh, come on, Mom. That's not fair. That was so brave. You know, I said it's homework time. Now scoot. I'll see you later, troops, okay? Okay, Uncle Bo. See you later. Okay, Uncle Bo. See you later. See you later, Mom. See you later, Mom. See you later, Dad. See you later, Dad. See you later, Uncle Bo. See you later, Uncle Bo. Later! Come and sit down by me, Bo. Yeah, well, better you than me. Oh, Robert, I see you still have the same even disposition, miserable all the time. Uh, Bo, tell me about the circus closing. They shut us down, honey. It's as simple as that. Who shut you down? The bank. Can't you get with another circus? It's too late, honey. It's much too late in the season. They must need clowns somewhere. Sure they do, but who wants to get into politics? Hey, come on, honey. Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. As long as I make some money and I'm having fun at what I'm doing, I'm okay. So tomorrow morning, first thing, I'll get a job. Well, I'll drink to that. I'll rent you a car, because in Florida, you can't get anywhere without a car. What, no chauffeur? Come on, Bo, I'll show you to your room. Why don't we get him a valet? A manservant? A footman? His own barber? It's your room, of course. Come on in. Sit down. Well, young lady, what can I do for you? Well, you see, Uncle Bo, I mean, well, my dad doesn't really mean all the things he says. He's really harmless. I know, sweetheart. I know him for a long time. He's a good man. It's just that you know, we think differently about things. Don't you worry your pretty head about what he says to me. I can handle it. By the way, I was wondering, do you think they'd ever let a girl be a clown in the circus someday? Sure they will. And if that's what you want, and you put your mind to it, you can be anything you want. You can do anything you want. Hey, one day you might even be president. Maybe I'll be both. Why not? It's a tradition. Now, hit the pad. You gotta get your beauty sleep. Very glad you're here with us, Uncle. Thank you, sweetheart. I'm pretty glad of myself. Come on, let's go. Yes, 
sir.
I'm really very sorry. I know excuses don't mean a heck of a lot, but this is my first day on the job. job and he'll get it. But Robert, the bank. Oh, come on, Gracie. Kill each other. What? You will? Oh, that's terrific. Thank you, honey. You won't be sorry. Mr. Rudnick. What time? Fine, I'll have him there promptly at seven tonight. Oh, yes, he's a great bartender. <laughs> on winning the Pachinko Championship. I'm very happy for you. Oh, by the way, did you know that my brother was staying with us? Oh, yeah, thanks. You're gonna rub it. We 
chewing about two seconds. <laughs> you say you want slim steak? That's as small as I can make it. <laughs> Careful. I am a crack and brew belt. I go with you. Tiny yo yo. Like you should like a tiny food. Minister. Uh, maybe we could uh, make a deal. Collingwood, I don't think you've met my brother, Bo. something in particular that you had in mind? Oh, well, he's just recently bought another yacht. Oh. And I thought it would be rather nice if I could find something to go with his new toy. I thought it would be absolutely marvellous. Well, I think I have just the item. Would you walk this way? Oh, right here. How do you like that? Oh, now that is unique. Oh, yes, I think he'd like that. Oh. How much is it? Well, it's, um, the price... Uh, this is only twenty-four dollars, but uh, yes. But how much is that? That is what I'm going to. Uh, yes. for most jobs lost by a single human being. Maybe so, but I'm not going to give up. I just haven't found the right one for me. Well, Bo, there's not too many openings left for village idiots. There's the bank. Get me in there, then they'll have two. Bo, what do you really, really want? Oh, this I've got to hear. I want what I never realized I wanted. To be somebody. Not just anybody, but somebody a direction and a purpose. For as long as I can remember, I thought I was satisfied with this job, that job, any job, as long as I had three squares a day and a place to put my head. But I think it's about time I dug some roots for myself with a steady job and steady money. It's marvelous. I don't think I've ever heard you say that before. That makes two of us. Now, Ted, uh, listen. I've got a slight problem here. Not to worry, Bob. That's what friends are for. Go ahead, shoot. Well, it's, it's simply my, my brother-in-law. Morning, Princess. Good morning, Bo. Robert has something, something good to tell you. Oh, he's leaving home. Oh, Bo, please. I'm gonna remind you that you were a guest in my house. You're right, Robert. Sorry about that. All right. Now, I talked to a friend last night, and if you want it, he can get you in at the post office. The post office? Delivering mail? It's a good job, Bo. 
and a stable job that pays well. Isn't that what you wanted? And let me tell you this, big shot. Nobody loses a civil service job unless he wants to. Well, thank you for your vote of confidence, Robert. I'll take it. Oh, good. Be at this address at 11 o'clock sharp today. And if you mess this one up, there'll be no more help to come. A lot of people are sticking their necks out for you. No mess up. Did you see that? exactly what I'd call a complete resume. Have you ever been in the military? I visited Arlington once. Have you ever worked for the Postal Service before? Okay. Report to room 213 at 1 o'clock. And finish this test. Uh, uh, do I take the test here? Report to room 213 at 1 o'clock. And take the test. When you finished taking a test in room 213, then report back to me.
Damn. You report to orientation two weeks from Monday. Oh, I passed the test? Was there ever any doubt? That's all, Cooper. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I I'll, I'll see you in two weeks. Get it. No, it's all right. Really? It's okay. Just leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it and leave. Leave it and leave. Okay, I'm leaving it and I'm leaving. But this leaving is not leaving it. I mean, I'm going, but it's staying. your car this morning. I can't have you running a car for me. Plus the fact I saw a real nifty uh, second-hand job. And I, I, huh? No, well, I can handle it. You know, now that I'm working, the payments will be a breeze. But, Bo, you start in two weeks. What, if anything, till then? Well, I know the Postal Service don't pay all that much, so moonlighting is now my second name. Well, no one can say you're lazy. Uh, not too bright, maybe. Lazy, no. I'll see you tonight, honey. Okay, honey. Okay. Bye. Your job if it hadn't been for us. Oh, no problem. I got a good job now. I'm glad. Yeah. Oh, um, I'm going to work for the post office. Mom, let's go. We're going. Well, Mr. Uh, Hooper. Uh, Bo Hooper. Come on, Mom, let's go. Please, let's go. Uh, well, we, we really do have to go, so goodbye. Hey, uh, say, I should have offered to drive you. I just got a new car. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. But Wouldn't have... you like to just take a look at it? Peter, would you like to see Mr. Hooper's new car? No. You'll love it. It's really quite nice. Big deal. You see, uh, you'll have to forgive Peter, but he's never really had a father. <laughs> that had to be a tough conception. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, Mr. Hooper. Uh, you can call me Bo. <laughs> Unusual name. I'm Millie. Millie, that's not an unusual name. <laughs> I'm really happy I met you, Bo. Me too. You're happy you met him? Good luck on your new job. I'm sure you're going to be just fine. Thank you. I'm sure going to give it one heck of a try. Who knows, in a couple of years I could be postmaster. Goodbye, Millie. Goodbye, Bo. Oh, 
up for your first night. Oh, thanks, Chuck. Why don't you take a break now? Let me drive the gears for a little while. Oh, okay.
great soap. Oh. usually do good work. Like a donut? Where are they? Oh, I mean, uh, yes. Oh, th yeah. Let me see. Um, that's, no, that's, I like, I'm not sure. About, oh, boy, that, I really, that's a good. Take one! Hmm, my favorite. Glazed chocolate, what would they call that? Just in time, because they didn't have breakfast. You say you never worked for the post office before. Probably if we had to say. Like, where did the guys go in the post office? And then, what was the 50 50 thing of all? What did you just say? What did you just say? But breakfast was for all. Wash it down. Oh, As I was saying, working for the post office isn't a bad job. Now, if you play your cards right, you can get ahead pretty fast. But you know that. Oh, well, it's like any job, you know. 90% uh, of it is half mental. <laughs> Do you mind if I have another one? How many you got there? Sixteen. Take a half. Drop one in. Now, this section is the number one section in the city. Because I keep the carriers in line. If you screw up, you get a demerit. And they put out on a big chart out there. And everyone knows what everyone else is doing. So nobody wants demerits. 
because you get a lot of ribbing from the other carriers. You get a lot of teasing. And you know what razzing does to you. If you get too many, when you're written up on probation and you get a hundred demerits, you get the ax. <laughs> Savvy? But don't worry about it. Oh, I understand, uh, Mr. Lucasel. Lucchese. All the men call me Frank. Oh, okay, Frank. Now you just play it straight with me, okay? We can help each other. You know, my friends are your friends, and your friends are my friends. Claude, this is Bo Hooper. Hi. How are you? Grainy. Starts today. Don't be too hard on him. We want him to like it here. Send him out with Steve. Gotcha. See you later. Ooh. Okay. I'm sorry. Tories! Front and side. I figured that you were so busy with you what you called doing, the master of my destiny. Realized that I was yeah, Steve, this is Bo Hooper. Hooper, this is Steve. Hi, Steve. Well, how do you do? He's one of your new trainees. And, and he's all yours. <laughs> my very own human. Oh, oh. Come on, Bo, follow me. I'll show it you the It certainly was a good thing to know that you are too busy to talk to anyone that's in here. Bo! Follow me. Well, why don't you grab one of those satchels? Uh, you'll need it later. One like that? Yeah. Frank, you see, uh, the case fell over when I was trying to release the strap. It was caught under the wheel. Now, I really never saw... Nate, you and the other guys have a pick the man. Let's go! I never figured I'd ever get it out. I gave it one yank. Everything went. I wouldn't want to be a party to doing anything wrong in, in the post office, but you don't know how... It was really wrapped right around the wheel. And, um... Dad. Oh, they're out to get me. Who is? Downtown. They're shoving trainees down my throat, and there's one I'm sure that's that's gonna stick there like a like a chicken bone. Oh, and he's got friends. How he's got them, I don't know, but he's got friends. Really? Well, that's interesting. Oh, Daddy. Do you think you could babysit Peter for me tomorrow night? Why, does Daddy's little girl have a date? Mm -hmm. With a real nice fella. I hope so. Hmm. What's he do? Never mind what he does. Oh, I'm not trying to pry, sweetheart. You know that I want only the best for you. Well, he's nice. Maybe not the best. But he's real nice.
Hello? Hi. Thank you for calling. I'm sorry I'm not home right now to get your call, but I'm out for a while. Should be back around 2 or 3 o'clock this afternoon. If you'd be good enough to wait for the tone, and when you hear it, leave your name and phone number, and when I return home, I'll call you back. Here comes the tone. Uh, you said you were going to be home today. What do you want from me? I'm only a machine. Well, I don't want to leave a message with a machine. And what's wrong with machines? Well, nothing other than... If it weren't for machines, where would we be today? Do you realize if we had no machines, we'd still be in the dark ages? <laughs> After all, being taken for granted is one thing, but not being realistic is another. Will you at least admit that machines were responsible for a man going to the moon? Not to mention just every day... <laughs> to shake more quietly. What's, uh, what's the next letter say? I don't know. It's still sealed. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, come on, Poe. What's the address? The address is 6311 Northeast Scott Road Boulevard, uh -huh. South Court Avenue Lane West. I'm telling you, the guy that named the streets in Florida has to be the same guy that designed the Etzel. Let's go, Bo. We're going...
land and I love da da dum dum dum. Yeah, what can I do? What what do you, what, what do you like, sweetheart? That, that's very nice, really. Uh, but I was wondering if you could please direct me to the registration desk. What do you need to register? There's no election. Yes, well, I didn't want to register. But then you can't vote. Don't you know you got to register to, to vote? You didn't know it? Oh, I, I know you have to register. Without an election? No, what I meant was, uh, uh, if, if there was an election. Oh, it'll be sooner than you think. I like Jimmy Crater, but his brother Billy, he could take a couple diction lessons. Again, understand what he says. When someone's talking, you got to understand what it says to them. Yes, ma'am, but I do have to get to the hotel lobby. Oh, the lobby? You didn't say that. That's right next to the registration desk, but I don't think they'll be open till November. Well, I'll wait. <laughs> Thank you. You're a sweet pussycat. You fool around? Well, you win some, you lose some. caught in your mesh. The ring is caught in your mesh. I ask you. Drink up. Joe, hey, Jack. A package for Joe, hey, Jack. 
Who? Oh, Hooper? Yeah, he works for me. What the hell are you trying to prove? What I mean is... Well... Don't do it again, okay? Okay, Frank. You got any donuts? Young man. Good morning, ma'am. Uh, I thought this might be important, so I didn't want to leave it in the mailbox. Well, you are very considerate, and on such a hot day. Can I offer you a drink? Oh, that's very nice. I don't mind if I do. Uh, you have a beer? A beer, certainly. Millie, why didn't you tell me? I, I was hoping that Dad would stop hating his carriers. Then dating one would be okay. What's such a big deal? Okay, so I'm a carrier. But it's the mail, not a disease. You don't understand. Completely, I don't. Larry, my ex, was a carrier. Oh, I see. So now 709,000 U.S. Postal Service workers are off limits to his little girl. Later. He's waiting for you. Don't make it worse than it is. How could it be worse? Get up. If you... If you mention donuts once more, I'm gonna pop you again. I don't like ultimatums. What I'm trying to say is I no longer care about your clout or whoever at the top called to get whatever strings yanked so you can have some juice around here. That's over. O V U R. Over. Now, I can't bounce you. But let me tell you something, pal. You stay away from my little girl. I know what you want. Anything to get ahead. I've seen guys like you before. 
Listen, Frank, you don't know what you're talking about. I didn't know Millie was your daughter, and I wasn't looking to make points going through her. She and I have had some very meaningful moments together. Oh? Well, here's another meaningful moment. You just got yourself five. Five? Ten demerits. Reckless driving out there. Only 90 more to go. Look, Frank, let me... That's it. Now get out of here. Put Hooper on 49. 49? Well, come on, Frank. Put him on 49, Claude. Okay. You're the boss. Stay too long. You're three hours late already. Oh, okay, Frank. I love you. performance evaluation tomorrow. If I can cancel my city council meeting, I'll be there. You will be here. Good morning, Frank. Hooper, this is Ted Mitchell. He's here to assist in your uh, evaluation. Mr. Mitchell? Mr. Hooper? Why don't you start on 35, Hooper? Yes, sir. Experienced carriers who didn't look this good. I really don't know. I think better not. Another Mr. Time. Hooper. Uh, excuse me. 
It's really been a pleasure watching you. I can't understand how your work could ever have been brought into question. Well, thank you, Mr. Mitchell, but my work was bad. And speaking of bad, that brings me to something I have to say about Frank. Frank was doing his job, but we came down pretty hard on me when he had to. He didn't let me get away with anything. He's a good boss. Well, Frank, apparently you were doing better than you thought. Well, thank you. Uh, before I go, Frank, there's one more thing. Yeah? What is it? I'd like to write up that truck. It's got terminal sludge. Oh, sure. Sure. Right. Good night. Good night. Hey, my star pupil. You were really good, Bo. Today, you were no clown. Don't call me that, understand? I'm not a clown. Not anymore. Okay? I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Come on, forget it. Hi, guys. Hi, Frank. Hi, Frank. Hey, Bo, uh, can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, sure. Look, Bo, I ain't really a bad guy. When I'm wrong about something or someone, I'm the first one to admit it. Yeah, um, I, I know what you mean, Frank. Thank you. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. A certain lady asked me to talk to you. So why don't you give her a call? I don't know, Frank. It's okay. I don't care anymore. As a matter of fact, I can't wait to get her off my back. So give her a call, okay? Yeah. Okay. Obscene phone calls? That's later. Seriously. You know, I just thought of something. Do you realize that tomorrow is your last day of probation? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I thought you did, dummy. And I've got a surprise for you. Good, I love surprises. And I love you. Right back at you, cutie. See you tomorrow. I gotta be honest with you. I didn't think you'd ever make it. You know that? That makes two of us. Oh, that reminds me. Now, do me a favor, will you, Bo? You know those rabbits? I gotta get rid of them, or else I'll have to get my own revolving door. Will you handle it? I'd love to help you, Claude, but the people moved. Take them to the animal shelter. Take them anywhere. Claude, why don't you just send them back? Send them back to who? Would you believe no return address? Okay, I'll take care of it. Thanks, Bo. Good boy. Okay. Bo, oh, wait a minute. Let me talk to you for just a second. Talk. Are you sure you want to go through with this crazy idea? Sure, I'm sure, but I need your help. Now, if you don't want to help me, just say so. Of course I'll help you. Good, let's get started.
Just delivering the mail. Excuse me, do you know this man? Do you mean do I know this clown? No. What's under there? Yes. Are you related to him, miss? He's my father. The clown's your father? He's the boyfriend. Her father's your boyfriend? And you keep out of it. Not are you only out of a job, but I'm going to press charges. You're committing a crime making fun of the postal services. So what's the crime if we do it all the time? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute, this is no laughing matter. He violated the sanctity of the mail, and that's why he's fired. He says you can't fire him because he quits, and he's about to make his last delivery. What delivery? Uh. What the hell have you got in there? Oh, get out of here. understand it, either a radical or fanatic mailman with the Fort Lauderdale Postal Service snapped his satchel, so to speak, dressed himself as a clown, and proceeded to make his deliveries. Let's back up a little. As we get it, one of the deliveries was a small cage that contained a couple of rabbits, couple meaning two. Now I'm here, seeing with my very own eyes, that couple of rabbits are no longer a twosome. see this gentleman in film. I cut it. I see a line, I stand on it. <laughs> <laughs> 